Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll talk about uh, cleansing your crystals. So I think all of you have them crystals. This is amethyst. I love amethyst. I have two bracelets. Well, one bracelet of amethyst and then one that has uh, rose quartz, um, clear quartz, uh, pearl and uh, amethyst and something else but I'm not sure. I just got this bracelet from a friend today. She gave it today to me. So, I have a few crystals here. I hope you can see it. Okay, so these babies ha uh, need to be cleansed, okay? But how do you really cleanse your crystals? Well, you can clean them with water, okay? Then, a caution, you can't uh, clean every crystal with, uh, with water. Uh, if it ends at um, eat day, such as um, selenite, okay? If it ends at eight, mo most of them, you can't use them with water because they will just dissolve, okay? But what do you do? You just place them under tap water or even like river, uh, water from rivers or from lakes, whatever, that tends to be better for your stones. Why? Because it has like a natural uh, flow, water flow, so it cleanses it even better. So tap water will be good, but what I like to do as well is I have a chalice and I put water in there and I put it in, um, on, under the moon, so moon, moonlight can, uh, can enter it and I think it gives it a nicer way of cleansing my crystals. But any, any, any type of water will do, really. So you can place them in soil. Um, you can leave them up to three days and they will be cleansed. The, uh, the energy will get out of your, your crystal and it will be as good as new. What else? Um, oh, yeah, as I said before, moonlight. So when there is a full moon, you place all your crystals outside. That's why I have this little box. I think it's quite oops, it's quite easy to place them outside when there's full moon and have they're charged. So I think that's fantastic. Sunlight. You can place your beloved crystals into daylight and sunlight, really, to charge them. Although be careful, not all crystals like to go into the sun, why? Because they might fade, such as the amethyst will definitely fade. So over time they will get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. I'm so sorry, this is my dog, she's playing on the couch. <laughs> That's why you might hear this, this little noise. So um, amethyst, don't place them on the sun, uh, under the sun, just be safe, okay? But other crystals you can, like, such as, let's say, clear quartz. Clay quartz, you can definitely. Um, there, there are plenty of um, there are plenty of crystals you can place under the sun. But just think, uh, just read up about it, and um, yeah, just go on the internet, Google it, and it will state how you charge uh, your crystal. So the other thing is, um, oh, salt. Yes, you can place your crystals in salt. Okay, sea salt is the best of course because it's more natural, but just place it in salt and uh, the salt will get rid of the negative energy and your crystal will be, will be cleansed. Then there is our Florida or Florida water, which is this, this stuff is amazing. Um, <coughs> excuse me, this, um, this will clean definitely your, your crystals, okay? I wasn't a big believer of this, why not? Because it's <laughs> my talk. Um, because it's just chemicals. That was my idea, like the their chemicals, like why do you wanna spritz chemicals on your on your gems, uh, on your crystals. Um, last month there was full moon and I put all my crystals outside and all my uh, my pendulums and the next day I brought them inside and I felt like that my pendulum wasn't like how he used to be, like he was totally different and I didn't understand it really and he didn't want to work with me, he felt he felt different and he didn't react how he normally did and we were like this is so 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 strange and eventually we, um, he didn't want to work with me at all, he was, he, he told me he'd rather have somebody else to, to help 
Um, so I went to the witch shop, I called the witch shop. She has everything from, from crystals to um, Florida water to, to anything really and um, essential oils. And she said like, oh, put a bit of, <laughs> put a bit of your um, Florida water in a can um, and mix it with water. So I did like one, maybe one tenth of the the Florida water in here, and the rest I filled up with just tap water, and I mixed it, and I just gave my um, my pendulum um, a spritz, and it it was like magic. Like it immediately worked with me. It wanted to work with me. It was it felt heavy again. Like you know, it it didn't it felt like. Uh, yeah, a piece of paper really. And then when when I used the the um, Florida water on it, it was fantastic. It, it, it worked. The en the energy was right and all that. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend our Florida or Florida water. Um, yes, I used salt. Uh, I've put my pendulum in a salt bath and all that, and nothing really works. Not even I put my intention in it. Nothing works. Only the um, our Florida, Florida water. So I highly recommend you get a little bottle, and it's not really expensive, and you definitely, uh, definitely don't need a lot of it. It's just I use this much in this can, and I just spritzed it. <laughs> So, ooh, I forgot, nearly forgot about it. Sage, okay. Sage, Sally, Salvia, whatever, sage. Sage is the way to go to clean things, even yourself, whatever. Sage is very important, okay. You can use a smudge stick or just the incense. It's just the, the smoke that, that does the job, really. So, mm -hmm. I have two different sage, uh, sages, sage, I have two different sage, <laughs> uh? incense sticks, incense sticks. two different uh, um, smells, so this is just a white sage and that was the only one we came across in the beginning and I was like, ooh, I like, and I love the smell. And then after a while we found the Californian white sage and this stuff is quite strong, okay, I love my white sage, but when I use this, you can definitely feel a difference like the energy totally changes <laughs> um i don't think this is as pleasant as this i think my husband really likes the californian sage don't yeah. you yeah you do but i prefer the white sage i think it's 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 a little bit sweeter i think it's not as aggressive as this but this is what if you want to cleanse you definitely need to cleanse and this californian white sage is fantastic you feel totally different like you feel there's a better vibe a more positive vibe in your home um <coughs> excuse me so what you do you just you just light it and you go with the smoke okay so you go over your body with the smoke so everything has to be covered and by the way it's been tested that it will um remove bacteria from the body okay if you smudge it around your body so, and then there is the Palo Santo. I don't know if oh, if you know this. Palo Santa, uh, Palo Santo. It's it's just an amazing stick. It smells divine. Um, if you have like strong ne negative um, vibes in your home or whatever, this is the way to go. This is quite aggressive, but it will get rid of the the bad energies in your home. But we will discuss that in another video. Um, and then of course your own intention so you can clean and charge your stone your little crystal just by say just by putting it into your hands feel the energy and then put your own energy in it so you will you will have to meditate first you need to ground yourself okay it'll take, it'll take up to about five to ten minutes but everybody is different you have people that do ground and meditate like this Others will take a little bit longer, it's all fine, everything is fine, as long as you put your own energy and your own intention into your crystal, okay? So you close your eyes, you make sure you're grounded, you make sure you're, uh, you meditate fast, and then just place 
your positive energy inside your crystal and you can do that one by one or you can just place a few crystals in your hands and just give it love and light that's all you have to do so I think this is it I wrote everything down <laughs> I think this is it how you would clean the crystal um, you can't go wrong really if you if you just meditate and ground you put your intention there all will be fine you can use water um, our Florida or Florida water um, um, moonlight sunlight it all depends what you prefer I like moonlight why because I think it's so easy you just put all your crystals outside and under the moonlight and they'll be they'll be ready for you to use the next morning although don't use that with your pendulums because they might get cranky and <laughs> you might miss their energy balance up okay so do it with your crystals not with your pendulum although my my pendulum was a crystal pendulum like you had amethyst and all different kinds of, of crystals it definitely hated it so I hope this video was a little bit fun a little, you learned a little bit out of it so this was a video about how to cleanse your crystals I hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe on my youtube channel until the next video bye